video, we want to find the sum from n equals 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the nth times x to the 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1. So let's find the interval of convergence. For this, we're going to use a ratio test, which is that to look at the limit as n approaches infinity of the n plus first term over the nth term. The nth term is just the original one, which goes on the bottom. And then we're going to replace n with n plus 1. So n replace n plus 1. 2n plus 1 will just be 2n plus 3. And notice that the negative 1 to the n plus 1 over negative 1 to the n is just negative 1. And then we'll, do, we'll simplify further. The negative will disappear because we're looking at absolute value. So that goes away. And then we're going to rearrange it this way. So the x to the 2n plus 3 will be on top of x to the 2n plus 1. And then the 2n plus 1 is going to be on top of 2n plus 3. Now, x to the 2n plus 3 over x to the 2n plus 1 is just x squared when you subtract the exponents. And then this x squared, if you want, it can come outside. And then the limit of this is just 1. So really, you just end up with the absolute value of x squared. And the ratio test says that in order for this to converge, the limit has to be less than 1, which the only way this happens is if x is between negative 1 and 1. So now we just need to test the endpoints. If I plug in x equals negative 1, I have negative 1 raised to the nth times negative 1 to the 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1. And if I were to add the exponents, this is really negative 1 to the 3n plus 1. So this is a typo, by the way. This, this should be a 3n plus 1. And this converges by the alternating series test because the sign alternates between positive and negative. The limit goes to 0, and 1 over 2n plus 1 is decreasing. Similar argument if we let n equal 1, or x equals 1, the 1 to the 2n plus 1 becomes 1, and you're left with negative 1 to the n over 1 times 1 over 2n plus 1, which again, this will converge by the alternating series test, same reasoning. And so we tested the endpoints, they both converged, so we want to include them. So then our interval of convergence is between negative 1 and 1.